This animation will give an overview of clinical coding in the NHS. Essentially, clinical coding is the way an NHS organisation records information on what health condition is being treated and what care is given to their patients. It is the translation of the patient record into coded data. For acute hospital inpatients, the coding is usually done after the patient has been discharged and there are strict deadlines that need to be adhered to for data submission. Acute hospital settings are where clinical coding is the most complex, but some clinical coding also exists for outpatients and in other settings such as mental health. So how does clinical coding work? A patient's hospital stay, from the point of admission to discharge, is called a spell. During their stay, a patient may be under the care of different consultants. This may be due to a change in responsible consultant or a move to a different speciality. The time period under each consultant is called a finished consultant episode, FCE, or episode of care. So a spell can be made up of a single or multiple FCEs. Clinical coders code diagnoses, comorbidities, complications, and any procedures undertaken for each FCE. So how do we get from treatment to coded episode? All care delivered during a patient episode is documented in the patient electronic records or in paper notes. Once the episode is complete, this information is available to clinical coding, where trained clinical coders carefully read through the notes and allocate the appropriate alphanumeric codes. For diagnoses, they use the International Classification of Diseases 10th edition, ICD-10, which comprises over 16,000 codes. And for procedures and operations, the OPCS Classification of Interventions and Procedures version 4.10, which has over 4,000 codes for procedures and operations. The codes are entered in computer software, which determines the healthcare resource group, HRG. Most, but not all HRGs, have an associated tariff. An example of this. Clinical coders are like detectives, investigating all aspects of their journey from start to finish. You begin by reviewing the documentation, physical and or digital, for the stay. For example, an elderly woman who had a hip operation two days ago. From her medical notes, you find out the main condition being treated, any relevant comorbidities, and the procedure performed. Then utilising the ICD-10 and OPCS procedure classifications, you find and assign the special alphanumeric codes and record these into the organisation's patient administration system. This coded data can be understood throughout the NHS and beyond, and used to plan for future patient care. What are Healthcare Resource Groups, or HRGs? A Healthcare Resource Group, HRG, is a grouping of diagnoses and or procedures which are similar in terms of care delivered and the resource used. In order to reflect the complexity of care delivered, HRGs capture main condition treated and or investigated, procedures and investigations performed, comorbidities, complications, age, length of stay. Healthcare resource groups offer organisations the ability to understand their activity in terms of the types of patients they care for and the treatments they undertake. Why is clinical coding so important? Clinical coding provides the information that underpins almost all the data flows within the hospital. It can be used for clinical governance, quality improvement, epidemiology, benchmarking, commissioning, financial flows and cost analysis. The challenge. Coders are only able to use information that has been documented in the clinical notes. Incomplete or unclear documentation has been repeatedly shown as a weak link in the data quality chain. Now we know how important accurate clinical coding is to NHS organisations, here are some top tips for recording information in patient notes so that clinical coders can interpret the information and assign the appropriate codes. Clear. Write clearly and legibly. 
Type if possible. Use appropriate language. Check with your organization as some have agreements to accept certain terms. Complete. Ensure all diagnoses and procedures are recorded in detail. Document all relevant comorbidities. Understandable. Abbreviations and shorthands cannot be coded. Coders are not allowed to interpret investigations or numbers. Accessible. Make sure the coding team know where key information is recorded.